Hi everybody, it's Cindy, and it's been a while since I've come to visit you. And so, somebody posted on a comment just a few days ago that they would like to see how I take some of the single earrings that I have and make pendants for necklaces. So, <clears throat> today that's what I'm going to show you. I'll move my screen just a little bit straighter. There we go. So, I just want to show you a few of the things that I have laid out here. Okay, this is an earring that has a, a little hingy in it. And it's kind of a door knocker style. And it is a pierced earring. And it is a signed earring. It says Chico's on the back of it. This right here is an earring that would be really ugly to me to wear as an earring. But it's got some really interesting things about it. And I think it would make a pretty cool pendant. So, um, we'll see. And it is a clip-on. And you know, clip-ons are easy to, to use with necklaces because as pendants because um, you can just clip the necklace, the pendant onto a chain. This one is another pendant. And it is an older style. It, it's signed Japan. And... Um, Trying to get my fingers so that you can see it. Well, my fingers feel tired. So, anyway. And that, I know that sounds crazy. I've been working a yard sale this week. So, it's been, I mean, today. So, I'm wore out. So, this one is neat. I think it's kind of cool. Would make a cool pendant. Kind of statement pendant. And it is a clip. But, um, it doesn't clip on tight enough. So, I'm going to show you a way that. I can uh, work with it. So, this one here is just an earring. Just a little square. It's got a little crystal rhinestone blue. And it's got a post on it. And it also is signed. And I can't remember what it said. Uh, maybe it's not signed. Maybe that's just the back of it. Anyway. Oh, look. This is just a little button style earring with a twist on thing so and um this one here is a 925 and i, I you may remember it's got a moon looking stone in it. it's 925 it has this little swirl and it's an earring it's a, a fish hooking here fish hook earring and um this is um i wanted to develop this into a necklace to keep for myself these others i'm just showing you what are some ideas that i would do with them so now i'm going to show you something else that oh here's one more earring and then i'll show you something else okay this is an enamel and um and gold tone clip on earring it's kind of cool it's kind of modern looking so it would make a really cool um pendant now <clears throat> I'm going to be working with the same chain, so just want to show you what I, it's just a gold chain, so even though some of the pieces I have is silver, um, I'm just going to be working with this just for showing purposes, okay? I get these chains, in fact, the, the lot that I pulled this out of, I keep them hanging over here on the wall on a little thing, but the lot that I pulled this one out of had three, just like it, I mean, exactly like it there gold tone they say made in uh made in korea so now anytime i find stuff like this this is oh i guess you would call this a, a scarf slide it's that's what the back looks like um anyway but the front is there you go it's rhinestone it's missing a bunch of rhinestones but i keep that because i pop those rhinestones out and use them um, if you ever try to pop out a rhinestone and you're having trouble, you can sometimes heat, heat it, um, and it'll pop right out. Um, one of the things that I do, especially on pieces that are not salvageable, is I take my little, um, needle nose pliers. These are little bitty ones, so they're easy. And I just take the edge of the pen, and I know this isn't showing you, I take the edge of the pen... And I bend it back like that. And nearly always that will release the stone. And it's just sitting right there wanting to fall out. There we go. There it is. 
got it. Yay. And let's see if I can get there is the little rhinestone laying on my finger. So anyway, so um somebody asked the other day about how do you place the rhinestones that are so small? Have these tweezers. <laughs> I've had tweezers like this. They come from <clears throat> hospitals. My son had, my oldest son had had several surgeries over the years. And every time you come home from the hospital, you come home with a bag of stuff. And uh, these were in it to use to change the dressing. And these I've been around so that I can use them exactly how I need. And they are great for grabbing on to little rhinestones. And I'm sure you probably can't see that. Let's see if I get that a little bit closer. But they're, they're really great for grabbing on to little rhinestones. But most of the time, more than anything, I use my fingers. Because uh, somebody said they lick their fingers and pick it up. Mm, sometimes I do. Most of the time, I can just get a hold of it. I don't have... I try to keep my fingernails trimmed down. So let's get started on what we're going to do. The, these two tools right here are the ones that I use the most in repairing jewelry. So, um, so we're going to start with this. Now, this right here, if I want to keep it like this and use it like that, I would take, take my little needle nose, and I've got a hold of the, the post, and I would bend it down to make a loop and I know I'm not holding this where you can see it but I will show you what it looks like when I get done okay because I've got to keep this where I can see it myself to work on it so I've got that bent down now you see the back of that I've bent that into a loop and then I'm going to take a hold of it and bend it down just like that so that now I've bent it down like this and it has a tiny loop that is laying down so that when I place this on a chain and I hope that this loop is going to go through and it might not uh, of all the chains I picked it would be the one that has to be repaired, that has to be reconnected, of course. So, there we go. I don't think it's going to go through. So, yeah, it's not going to go through. So, I'm going to, because, because I'm going to need this off and it needs to be fixed anyway, I'm just removing... Yeah, maybe. Just want to remove that. Y'all see me making faces. I make faces all the time. I'm one of those people that you can't uh, tell me something. I don't have a poker face. If I'm feeling it, you're going to see it on my face. And um, that sometimes is not good because I do work with the public in ministry a lot. And so I have to be real careful about being nice. So... I know, so, I know some of y'all think I am nice, but I promise you, I have my moments that I am not. So, okay, I got that on, off. So now I'm just going to slide this little chain through here because I've got to repair the back of that. And if you tell me that that chain is not going to go through there, that chain is not going to go through there. So I've made my little loopy a little too small. And sometimes you just have to work with it. You work with what you've got. Now this is not the chain that I want to would want to put this on, so I really would like to have this on. Let's see, I keep all kinds of chains right in here, and of course I'm not going to have one today. But you know what we're going to do? We can do this too. Now that we have this little loop, we can put. A, um, I'm trying to think what that what you would call this a, uh, a jumpering like see let's see 
I'll hold it up by the screen so that you can see. And, uh, man, this video is getting a lot longer than I wanted it to be. Okay, you see, I put it on a ring like that. And then I can do it through that. And I really am not fond of that because, and there's a reason why, because, huh, I just slipped that out of there. Okay, let's see. Here. I've got another chain laying here, so we're going to try it. And I'm sorry that this is taking so long. But, there, um, there we go. And this, because this is a silver tone or a gold tone, it will work with silver or gold. There we go. Come on. Now, I got it on. I have it on. I'm going to show you the back. See, it just slid on that. Slid on that ring. And maybe if I turn it to the side, you can see that it's just laying there. And it's going to lay really nice. So, you've taken something. It has a classic look. It's nice. So... I, that, I like how that turned out. So, anyway, now, give me back my chain, you silly thing. I'm going to unbend it just so I can get my chain back. And then, I have a really fine chain. I have some really fine chains that I'll probably put that on. And we'll do that. There we go. Okay. So, that's one way. This right here, this is my favorite piece of all of it. And so, I want to take this right here. And I'm going to take it off of the earring. And I, all I did was just bend it. And so now, basically, I just have a little pendant. And all I need to do is add a jump ring. So, super easy. Okay. Now, this one here is, um, it's a clip-on. And what I'm going to do is, because that clip is pretty tight, I'm going to tighten it just a little bit so that when it, when I slot it, then I'm going to take this part right here of this clip, and I'm going to bend it in, just like that, and I'm going to bend it until it connects and flattens, and there's no place for a chain to slide out, and then, make sure which end I have, then I would slide this chain. Let me make sure which way I want to slide this chain in. Because, there we go. Now, this right here is going to, oops, hang like that. Now, you may have to take your little needle nose pliers and work, but see, I've got that up in there, and work in that. And what I basically would do is I would start taking my needle nose pliers and flattening this. Flattening it, flattening it, flattening it. Can you see that, how I flatten that down? See, I've got that flat, and that's going to help that hang more like a regular pendant will. Now, straight on, you're not going to see it, but if you turn it to the side, you're going to see it. So you can even flatten it further and bend it up. So, so that's an ideal. Okay. One more. Let's see. This one here. Super easy. It's got a cushion comfort. You're just going to clip it on. And it's going to it's gonna hang. And it's going to lay. Just fine. And if you are worried about it coming open. Because I have some that will have come open. You can always put a daub of glue and glue that little comfort thing to the back of the earring. And it's going to hold. And now that is a nice little necklace. I would never wear it as an earring, but I would wear it as a necklace. So, okay. Here is another one that I would do just the exact same way. This, See this? I would... I'm going to take and... I'm going to tighten that just like that. 
I'm going to slide my chain through it. Yeah, I'm going to slide my chain through it. So for you don't just slide a chain through it when you're trying to video because then it don't want to. And that's cool. That makes a nice little pendant. And it looks really nice. I really like that. So, so, um, again, this one here, you would can do the same way that I've done that very first one. You can bend it down, make you a little hooky. Just keep bending it, you know. And if you don't know how to use a needle nose plier, you should really learn how because needle nose pliers can be your best friend when you are working on jewelry. So, and I've got that where it sticks out and makes, and let's see, I'm trying to get you there. I think you can see it better like that. And see it, I have it where it makes a loop. And now that is a really nice pendant for a necklace. And you just slide your chain in there, a silver chain in there. We'll slide this one here in. I know it'll slide because I was sliding one that was even smaller a while ago through there. So. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Now, one of the things that you have to watch out for, especially it with using earrings as pendants, is earrings were not made to be pendants, so they sometimes are a little top heavy because of how they sit on your ear so a lot of times you're going to have to go back in there after you've put it on and you may have to adjust it so that it sets a certain way because that little pendant there it was really heavy and so you may have to go back in and adjust it just be aware that if you start bending on this little post on the back too much you can break it off and then it's good for nothing except for you could probably use the rhinestone again but it's good for nothing as a piece of jewelry so I've got that I'm picking up this and I'm, I know please don't leave a comment and say ooh that's gross you've got a gold gold jump ring on a silver earring I know it's gold but so I've put a jump ring on it to see if that'll help it lay. But you can, can you, you can see how it wants to tilt and it's a little heavy. So if you put that jump ring on it, and actually that gold jump ring is not going to matter because it's not big enough to see from from the earring hanging. So we're going to see if it hangs any better when I put it on this. So anyway, so uh, if you have any questions. Please leave them in the comment. Be, be sure to like this video and uh, leave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. It still doesn't hang just right, so that would be something that you would really want to watch about it is making sure that it hung right So when you, ha when you were wearing it. So I probably wouldn't wear it much because it would worry me to death. So anyway, so and I think... If I had tilted it the other way instead of up instead of down, it might have hung better. And I'm afraid to. Let's just try. I'm afraid to twist too much now because I've been twisting on it. So I'm going to be very gentle here. There we go. Yep. I think that's going to make all the difference in the world. And see, I'm going to slide that up against that. And I think that will make all the difference. So let's just see. Oh yeah. That does make a whole lot of difference. It hangs better. It doesn't tilt as bad. And it's going to lay better. There you go. It does. It lays a whole lot better. So remember that. If you've got an earring that's really heavy. And you're trying to take a post and make you a pendant. Uh, make you a loop for a pendant, you need to bend up so that it helps counterbalance. So, I have this one. Again, 
this little thing pops against there so tight you can just slide a chain through it and wear it and again though remember earrings are not pendants and so sometimes you're going to have to mess with them to make sure that they hang just like you want them to hang but that, that one is hanging really nice sometimes these beaded ones do not hang nice so okay one more and then we're going to be done and uh like i said if you have any questions about this video be sure to leave a comment and be sure to like the video too so this one here seriously i mean this is so simple okay it's twisted you're going to twist it as tight as it can go then you're going to smash it in and I like to just smash it till you can smash it until it makes a loopy loop there and just like that I've smashed that until it makes a loop I can slide a chain through it and it will go but you know I mean as far as earrings go yep it hangs on there pretty good it's it's gonna lay pretty good I might I might because this uh, I'm making a video honey so, okay, I just cut, oops, you can't see, I just cut that off, cut off the screwy part, so no more is this ever going to be a use as an earring, so I'm going to do that, right there, I'm going to twist it down, curl it in just a little bit, and I like to curl it in so that it meets, no more. And just like that, I've made a little cube, and it's going to, little O, and it's going to hang through that. So, anyway, it'll just go through there. I mean, of all the ones that I was going to make an earring from, this button one wouldn't be one of them, because it's not very interesting. But, just to give you an idea... This right here is the jar that I put single earrings in and broken pieces of rhinestones and stuff in for me to do repairs out of. So it's not like I have a short of shortage of earrings to make into necklaces. So um, I really like that one. That one turned out pretty cool. I'm going to keep it to the side. So uh, again, thumbs up, thumbs up give us a thumbs up thanks for watching this video and uh have a great weekend be safe and do not um get out in the ice storm if you're having an ice storm where you live if you can believe it it's april in arkansas and they're predicting sleet and snow for in the morning so we're kind of freaked so we'll see what happens have a wonderful day thanks for watching love y'all bye bye